Hello everybody, I am Samuel from Team the Dragon and today welcome to Pokemon TCG Online Mad Dragon Wednesday. Region every single Wednesday for the most part we take a look at an interesting deck involving the dragon typing and play a game or two with it. Sometimes these decks are actually somewhat competitive. Other times, no, not really. They're just mostly for lead challenges and maybe a cities here and there. Um, though cities is pretty much over at this point anyway. Um, or and sometimes these decks are just so outrageously, outrageously bad, you'd be mad to play them in an actual competitive scene. Hence the name Mad Dragon Wednesday. And today we have a deck that we kind of been meaning to do for a while on my channel, and that is Rush Ram Salmon. The reason why I haven't is because it just come on the end of my decks to do. And uh, we're nearing the end of the list, thankfully in the, in the next couple sets. And like in the next month or so, we should be getting a new set, so that's interesting, that's great, it's cool, and, yeah, and the idea is to have Rusher in the active, trouble a couple times to Salamence, use, use Hydreigon's ability to retreat to Salamence, and go, of course, with the Stadium in play, which we do have to play three, uh, and when you're playing Hydreigon, I believe you have to have at least, uh, three Stadiums, at the very least, and we do have three Stadiums, so, yeah, we're playing Salamence, uh, for one energy, which is pretty cool, he could do 60, discard any stadium in play. Uh, Power Hall does 20 damage times the cards in your opponent's hand, which is also pretty cool. And then, of course, we have Steam Blast. Discard 3 energy to this Pokemon. It's a pretty hefty it's attack cost. It's expensive, but, you know, with the Muscle Band, you're doing 190, and that's pretty much everything in the format. And, of course, your opponent's only taking one prize, which is also pretty cool. So yeah, unfortunately the reason why this deck has never seen any play at all is because of course it's a stage 2 and it's, even with double dragon energy and, and, and with the brush ram it's still hard to get into play efficiently so it's still kind of expensive but yeah, it's a pretty fun idea um, for the steams of course since we need Hydreigon's ability is uh, Three Scorched Earth, and because we're playing Scorched Earth, and might actually go through our energy too quickly. We play Energy Retrieval. I honestly want to play Energy Retrieval in real life. Energy Retrieval and Scorched Earth in real life. I'd probably play maybe one or two, but I'd probably be playing Faded and Faded Town instead to deal with Mega Pokemon. But that's just me, in my opinion. Of course, Faded Town's banned online. Just letting you guys know. Um, we have two Heavy Ball and three Ultra Ball. Uh, we have two heavy well because both Salamence and Hydreigon have uh, three or more, and that's what you need to have so you can use it. So you can effectively. Oh, you can also use Salamence. Shell, shell Gun. So Shell Gun, Salamence, and Hydreigon. Um, so you might want to use Level Ball instead to get out Bagon and Shell Gun. But I feel like getting Salamence, but Heavy Ball gets more, and that's kind of what I'm going for, you know? Level Ball gets 5 Pokemon, uh, Heavy Ball gets 7 Pokemon, it's a 2 Pokemon difference, and that's pretty important if you ask me. So anyway, I'm just rambling at that point, um, of course you play Trainer's Man, which pretty much every deck in Standard kinda needs this card to make your deck flow a little faster. Uh, of course for Rare Candy, because you know, you need Rare Candy in, in these decks to make your decks go faster. Oh, sorry, I need to uh, sneeze. Or blow my nuts, whatever you want to call it. So we have that. Um, we also play one Judge, one Professor Birch uh, split, two Lysander, uh, four Sycamore, and of course I'm trying this thing out, Teammates, because you can get Red Candy, Salamence, or whatever you need, a Double Dragon. That's also pretty nice, you can search out your Double Dragon energy, and that's cool. Uh, of course there's also two Muscle Band. Uh, you don't really don't need Muscle Band too much, but you know, if I were to take out the the uh, energy retrievals, because if you were not playing Scorcher, you don't have to worry about that. If you were to take out the energy retrievals, I would probably put another energy and another muscle band. But that's just me. Maybe a um, Giovanni's plants can even add more damage. It's up to you. Uh, this is more of a uh, plain of vanilla list, if you ask me. This is more of the basic list. I also play one switch if you want to play two switch. If you're I'm also playing one super one super rod, uh if you want you probably could play 
you probably could do without if you don't feel like you need it or if you rather have a sacred ash instead that's up to you as well but well, that's the list um and let's go straight into it Hello everybody, I am Sammy for Team the Dragon Team here today. Welcome to Pokemon TCG Online Mad Dragon Wednesday. Welcome back, I should say. And we're back with uh Reshiram Salamance. And we're yay, we're going first. Obviously with the stage two deck, we we do want to go first. I mean, you know. That way you can have extra time to set up and everything. And it looks like we have a pretty good start. Not gonna lie. I'm sorry. Again, I'm still getting over the sniffles and all that nonsense. Um, looks like we have a main foo. That's interesting. Our main foo isn't really that big of a thing, but people do play main foo in the standard format a little bit. I'm not that really worried against it, you know. Though, for the most part, I'm probably going to want to use my secondary, uh, probably the secondary attack or. The first attack, depending on stuff. Alrighty. Um, um, terrible plays. Of course, I need the energy. I do have Super I believe. I could straight up Sycamore. Um, muscle band there. Yeah, let's do that. A better chance of getting the right candy. Um, just attach return for now and pass, I guess. Yeah, now I do want to get my Hydreigon out sooner or later, so I can free retreat. That'd be the, the great thing. Um, Pokemon can flog for about 50 damage. That's interesting. Um, one's gonna red card me. Okay, that kind of sucks. Uh, no, 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 yeah, that kind of sucks. I have no fire in discard pile, so I can't. If I top deck a fire energy, you know, that'd be kind of. That'd be a little better, not gonna lie. <coughs> it's gonna flop me for 50. Every damage count. Um. I do have a salad in this car box, so that's interesting. I'm gonna put a. Sh I'm just gonna do that. Like, this is all I can really do for now, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to pass here. Yeah, that red card kinda hurt a lot there. Oh, sorry. Maybe you want to play level level ball instead of heavy ball since I am playing heavy ball in here. But again, that's up to you. Up to you. How many HP does Mean Pooh even have? I would assume ninety. I'm assuming ninety. I don't think it's eighty. <laughs> Yeah, that's 90. That sucks. But if my opponent has fire Pokemon or, or more, I can uh, use the wonderful secondary attack for a knockout. Um, opponent's gonna be using Arrow Turn for, I believe it's a knockout. Yeah, that's 80 damage. That's exactly what he needed for a knockout there. No, I have a decision to make. Do I want to put promote Reshiram or Shogun? Well, better safe than sorry. Yeah. Um, at least Reshiram can take a couple of turns. So that's the plus side. I like to draw into a fire energy today. So I can use Scorched Earth and draw a couple cards. Reason why I'm not playing that stadium right now is because number one, I don't need it. 
And number two, if like I put down my stadium, he could bump my stadium. And um yeah, that would not be good. He could also use to draw more cards, which would also not be good. <laughs> Um, I don't really have a very good start, though this deck isn't very, doesn't really have very good starts in general, though, so. I'm gonna draw more cards, so again, when I finally able to use Salamence, that'd be fun. Alright, if one's gonna be probably, gonna be hitting for a decent amount of damage. 60-80, I believe. 80, that's pretty fine damage. Now, I do play Judge, so that'd be great. Um, Trainer's Mail, okay, that's one of the things I wanted to get there. Heavy Ball. Um, let's get Salamance. So when it is knocked out, we can't attack with the next turn. That's my thought process anyway. Plus, I can take a couple hits. I well, actually can only take one hit. It's like two safe hits, really. Um, Double Dragon would actually be fairly nice right about now. I am dead wrong, but I don't think this deck does not really draw that well to begin with, so... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of why we're playing Scorched Earth and two Shamans. You may want to play three Shamans, actually. Now, my opponent can knock me out. That's the important thing. My opponent can knock me out if they so choose to. Question is, will they? Um, of course, it's going to involve as many mean foo as possible. That's obvious. And yeah, that judge kind of hurt me there. It's gonna Lysander up to Salamence. Yeah. That's just a smart thing to do. Curious to see what he's gonna try to kill here. Now I really need to get another, uh, another something fast. I need to get something. Okay, we get a fire energy, which is great. Um, so Rod, might as well get the sound that's back in there. Oh, we can. Alrighty, alrighty. Now all of this cool stuff is gone, so we won't be able to for sure get the Nacho just yet. Um, hey Shadow, I have to discard the stadium play. That's not a, a, if I want to or not, I have to. Um, I'll do that. So yeah, I had to discard this day in there even though I really didn't want to. Alright, we have the double dragon, which is pretty cool. So when opponent isn't able to knock me out, we probably will be able to use power how. Or something. Opponent is able to get two robo subs just like that. That's just kind of saddening. The opponent is to support it also be kind of sad because I don't. I wouldn't put it past my opponent to have a supporter though. Um, oh my, wow. Okay, I'm really upset there because he was able to get all that. Like, seriously, you're able to get all that? Okay. Okay. That's dumb. That is dumb. Alright, um... I need a VS Seeker for something, obviously. Now, I can't get a Lysander here. Which admittedly sucks. 
I'm not able to get a life sander here. Because if I had another fire damage, I definitely would have done it. Get rid of his one attacker he has. And just kind of put him at the back burner for there. For a while. Um. Ah, oh crap, what do I get rid of? Don't really want to get rid of a, a double dragon, but I kind of have to get rid of these two. So. Bagon. Put a little pressure and get rid of like one of his subs. I can burn one more. Unfortunately, I was unable to capitalize there, and he has gets another mean food down, which is not really that great for me. But, 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 we can still possibly turn this around. He's going to eco arm here for a focus sash. For just one focus sash, so he does play those. Interesting. Muscle band. Gonna hit for 80. Now he has only one main foo in play. No, um, I don't have life center in here. I thought I had life. Oh no, I had to get, uh, judge it away, didn't I? Alright, so we have the teammates. No, I can't add ah, crap, I misplayed. I misplayed. I totally misplayed there. I misplayed so hard, it's not even funny. It's actually pretty hilarious, though, uh, to be honest, but... He's getting rid of that thing anyway, probably. So might as well, you know. I misplayed so hard. Alright, um... If I had license, that would have been great. Luckily, though, he's continually struggling at least a little bit to get his chain up, so. Silver lining. Alright. Um. Actually. Stadium, Hydreigon. Retreat. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God, that was a fun game. <laughs> I don't think Bape was very good at all. And that's exactly why. I lost it like this dumb deck. Well, 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 the reason I were able to win is because we constantly were able to put some kind of pressure down. Even if we made a couple misplays here or there, we still were able to put down pressure. If he did have a switch, he would have been able to conserve some Robo Suds, but he was not able to conserve them because we kept get rid of them. So that's one way of looking at it, I guess. Either that or just suck. Um, but still. Um, he wasn't able to get as many main food as he wanted either, which also was good for us. So, more of the story, just be better than being for you if you're okay. Ah, oh, man. This deck, I'm not a big fan of Salamence to begin with, but it's, it, Salamence is pretty fun. It can get some pretty crazy wins here and there. Um, the decks, I mean, it has pretty, it's, as you saw, I was like, I just had all the cards you need to get to get right then and there. So like that was that was great. Um, 
<laughs> Not exactly sure how we're able to do it though, but we got the win. Um, yeah, I'm Samuel Fifteen, Samuel Fifteen, the Dragon to me here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe, a lot of silly stuff, and I shall see you guys on next time.